Hello, everybody. We are back. Um, a couple of developments <laughs> have happened off camera. Um, first of all, overnight, seemingly, our zoo's financial issues went away. This was because the surrounding community, and indeed, possibly the entire country, the entire world, finally woke up one day and realized, holy crap, you know, these people that work at this zoo, you know, that created this zoo, they worked so hard and they care so much, not just about entertainment, but also about wildlife conservation. You know, like they really are, these really are ideals that we should emulate, that we should support. So we kind of became like a celebrity zoo and we are well regarded, well thought of. Um, so financial problems are a thing of the past. Just went to bed one night, woke up. Whoa, look at that. Um, so that happened. Uh, fairly soon after that, in a, a very strange coincidence, a bunch of our fences fell apart. And uh, I picked up the maintenance person named Stanley. And I was, I don't know, helicoptering him around the premises so he could <laughs> fix the fences. And he did very good. The fences are all good now. Uh, Fluffy did escape. Uh, Fluffy being a snow leopard. Uh, people ran around, you know, screaming. They weren't happy. I was still having Stanley, you know, fix stuff. I was like, Fluffy will be fine. You know, Fluffy could probably use the exercise. So I just let Fluffy kind of roam around. And by the time Stanley and I were done, Fluffy had been put into a crate and, you know, we put Fluffy back in. I'm, I'm actually looking at the screen and I'm seeing one weak part in the fence that Stanley missed, that I missed, that we missed as a team. Um, but yeah, so me and Stanley fixed the fences, put Fluffy back in the cage, and then uh, zoo rating temporary setback with the zoo rating. Um, and if you see people running around screaming, that's why. But it's been handled. And... Also, another thing that happened off camera, Juniper passed away, the um, the bear, which is very sad. I quite liked Juniper, um, but we will we will get another bear, not to replace Juniper. You understand, there will never be another Juniper, but I do like that species of bear, so we'll be getting another one. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, I'm not trying to buy a water filter. There's Marcel. How you doing, Fluff? Was I calling you Fluffy earlier? I'm sorry if I was. How are you doing? Are you okay? Oh, good. Tiffany. Thank you very much, Tiffany. Okay, so. First order of business. New bear. New bear. Here we go. Not that bear. This bear. Asian black bear. We're gonna get a female. And we're gonna name her, uh, Maple. I don't think we've had a Maple yet. Oh, she's snoozing. That was the first thing she- Oh, and now she's rolling around. Super cute. Oh my god, look at that. Super cute little bear. I don't know if the mouse cursor is flickering for you too. It is for me. So I'm gonna... That should fix it. No. Makes no difference. Okay, I guess we're having a, a flickery mouse today. The dinosaurs are all grown up, by the way. I don't remember if that happened. It's gonna be okay, Mango. Your zookeeper's coming, I'm sure of it. Lovely noises those dinosaurs make. But, um... We... I forgot to set a timer. Hang on a second. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I forgot to set a timer. Are you still trying to rotate? The struggle is real. It's an older game. There we go. Yeah, I don't know if we got to... Oh no! There goes Teal. There goes my Iguanodons. I don't know if we got to see these guys grow up last session. I don't recall. Aren't they lovely? I really like them. Very elegant uh, neck. Take care of Mango. Georgia, yeah, there goes my Iguanodons. Esperanza, yeah. Okay, Stacy. Can you quicker, please? Look at look at her! She's flopped over! There you go. You should be all better, Mango. Where's your buddy? Oh, there she is. Okay. I am a bit sick, and it is a bit um, later on in the day. I have to get to bed pretty soon for work tomorrow. So I almost didn't record today, but I was like, you know what? I can do like a quick half hour. And then I forgot to set my timer, so. Honestly, I'm really wanting to get Planet Zoo, the one that like just came out as of me recording this. Um, I've just looked at like some trailers and stuff. It looks nice. It looks really nice. <sighs> so I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe wrap this LP up because I'm almost done. Like pretty much just this. <laughs> like I'm just about done. And then once I wrap that up, maybe I can try an LP of um, Planet Zoo. Where is your zookeeper? Stacy, are you also? Poor Stacy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to delete this. Because we're gonna be building there. And what we are gonna do is we're gonna stick it over here. Okay, I was looking at what I want to do. As far as biomes go, I think I'm looking at Arctic, and I'm looking at, like, maybe some, like, marine stuff. So, that's a water filter. I did not forget, very long ago, years ago, I talked about getting one of those ancient tortoises and naming it either Fred or Frank. I can't remember if it was Fred or Frank. I don't remember what it was called. Like giant tortoise or something? I don't know if this is going to be big enough for a giant tortoise. Where are you, giant tortoise? Giant ancient tortoise? You are. Oh, I'm right. They live in small family groups. Okay. Okay, so maybe in that case... In that case, maybe I'll get two.
and I'll name one Fred. And one Frank. And you're going to get a scientist named Dave. And Dave is going to take care of the tortoises. Whoops. No, I, I want to know more about them. I want to know. Yes. Arctic and water. Like snow and water. I don't think I'm going to finish the game in this play session. I'm not trying to rush it or anything. This LP's been going on a long time. This LP's been going on um, since like 2015 or something. This might be a really dumb question, but is that salt water? It's the same color as the one for the penguins, so... Okay. If I wanted to get fancy... to remember how this works. I'd like to make a tank. to right or yeah because they have to be able to get into it yeah oh are you freshwater no that's all wow bear with me I'm just trying to congratulations welcome Fred Congratulations on the birth of an endangered animal. The publicity resulting from this event has attracted the attention of a private foundation who has donated 10,000. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Honestly, these guys are pretty small, so having this inner f fence may kind of be overkill anyway. I think this will, you know, contain, contain them. Keep them contained. Okay. Are you guys happy by chance, or are you absolutely miserable? Not enough fresh water. Oh, you want fresh water? I'm so sorry. I, th I thought you wanted salt. Here you go. Are you happy? Oh. Not enough fresh water. Good to know. How you doing, Fred? Not enough fresh water still. Okay, what if I am... Um... What if I put it all the way back here? 
Would this make you happy? Is that enough? Okay, not enough gray still. I'm so glad this is finally happening. Finally getting my... giant tortoises. The rest of the zoo can just fade away. <laughs> they can all be over there with the, the loud noises and the lions, the hubbub. We can just hang out here in silence with our tortoises. foliage in the water? I mean, I know I can, but I guess I'm asking if they would allow it. One hundred. Would you look at that? When was the last time we made something that happy? No? Are you guys gonna want anything? I don't know, I just kind of feel like... I'm, I'm just grabbing random things, I don't know. I just kind of feel like it's very bare in there. But if you guys are happy... Fred and Frank. Best friends. <laughs> Let's see if I can... Um... It would be really cool... It'd be cool if I could... That's not what I'm trying to do. No, I want to, um... I want... Oh, wait. Okay, hang on a second here. Okay, I know right now this doesn't look like a great idea, because theoretically there is nothing stopping these guys from just climbing out of their tank and wandering around. But if I can successfully... Yeah. Get... No, I'm not... Can you... Yeah, I want people to be able to look in the aquarium. What is happening? Hang on a second. Uh... 
Okay. Had to make sure I was still recording. Okay. Now it's just a matter of how do I... F fantastic. Um, what path am I even using? Ooh, I'm using this nice Mexican stone path. Okay. So there's that. Can people... Can people get to it? It does not look like they can. No. Hang on a second here. Da 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 da! I did it! I think. I don't know if I did it. <laughs> well, I'm glad we have some happy tortoises anyway. Come on, game, pivot. Pivot, game, pivot. I'm not sure why it's having a particularly hard time tonight. Maybe it too is sad that this LP will be coming to an end. Okay. I did it! I think this is the first time I've done something like this, so... It's not pretty, but it's functional. I wonder if I could make this a bit more attractive. I bet I could make a path going here. In case there's a lot of traffic. giant tortoise exhibit, because that's <laughs> that's where all the traffic is going to be, right? It's not your guys' fault. I just foresee people not appreciating your beauty as much as they should. Maybe, maybe I'll be proven wrong. Yeah, sure, why the hell not? Why not have a little figure eight? Let's do wooden bench. There's a bench. There's a bench. There's a bench. There's a bench. Here's some fascinating information about our ancient extinct tortoises and isn't there a fountain didn't this whole thing start because of a fountain i'm not sure like i think i was like looking through fountains i, I don't know i have to go back to like episode three or something there's a lion statue in honor of cecil I could have sworn I had a fountain. Did I never put in a fountain? Oh, there it is. It's a... That's a woolly man of fountain. Okay, well, we're gonna need... Come on. We're gonna 
need this fountain to commemorate our joyous companions. I don't know. Okay. And we'll put some more benches. Oops. Some more benches, we'll put some cool torches. No, I don't like that actually. No, I'm not filling the torches. Um. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. What time is it? Let me check how fast I've been recording here. 27 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I feel like I want... I think I'm about to wrap this session up because I am sick and kind of tired. Um, but I think I will want like one more Arctic themed. I probably want these guys. But they need a big enclosure. Do I have enough room? Honestly, I'm not sure I have enough room. If I were to get rid of my little figure eight here and connect this to this, that would still be really skinny. <laughs> hmm. I've already got a rhino. I don't feel like I need a woolly rhino. These guys are pretty cute. Not arctic themed, but I mean, do they have to be? Maybe I don't need to go arctic. I was talking about going marine. I'm sure the Loch Ness I could... I could do just like one Loch Ness. Like... Maybe here. What did I miss? Speckle has caught an illness from another animal. What are you guys doing? Gerald. 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 <coughs> are you guys happy, by the way? You've all grown up. Is there enough room? Yeah, there's enough room. We're happy. It's died, right? Is it just... <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's put... Damn it, I hate 
hate it when that happens. Let's do two girls. Two boys. Scientists, take care of them, please. Chuck. You know the drill, Chuck. I bet the loss of the iguanodons hit Chuck really hard. I mean, those iguanodons have been around for a long time. I bet it hit Chuck pretty hard when they passed away. I should have sent a card or something. Very thoughtless of me. I was over here with my freaking tortoises. Oh, I should... <laughs> I should probably connect to the path at some point, right? So other people can see the tortoises. How do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? Yeah. People aren't going to like that walk. They can get over it, alright? This is a place of wonder and magic. They can do a little bit of walking. Excuse me. Could someone please come and... Enjoy the... Tortoises. Frank looks overjoyed. Nice. Ugh, the water's filthy. Of course, uh, water filter. Does that work? Yeah. Does that look bad or? No, that's fine. Super cute. They sound kind of like my friend's uh, French bulldog. It's <sighs> kind of noises she makes. This poor person. She's gonna have to <laughs> to journey for you know a hundred years to get back to the main part. If I could do this zoo over, I would make it more compact, less long, winding paths. Um, I was doing it because I was trying to make it like spacious and like nature-y looking. Like, see how in the early parts I have all this plant life? I was trying to go for like really like natural, beautiful environment. Um, but the game mechanics aren't really set up for people to appreciate that, I don't think. Um, all the little people perceive as, oh god, I have to walk so long to get anywhere. You know. Um, not to mention the fact that you'll notice that as I built outward, I lost patience <laughs> for filling it up with trees. That'll maybe be the last thing I do. Like, after I've got it all built up. Um, random tree. Um, after I get it all, you know, fully developed or whatever, I'll probably fill it up with the trees and make sure the animals are all happy and sell anyone that needs to be sold, and then I'll just do like one last look through and we can kind of be nostalgic together over the many years that this zoo has been running. <gasps> look at how little! <gasps> look at how little they are! They're so chunky! When they're babies, they're so chunky. You're so cute. You're so cute. Forgive me if I don't... Oh, good for you, Pattern. What is Pattern? Okay, guys. Are you sure? I'm just... Are you sure? There's kind of a lot of you in there already. I'm... Gerald, please take care of the egg. Well, I mean, they can't help it, can they? They don't have dinosaur contraceptives. That's on me. I need to take care of that. What am I doing giving poor Pattern a hard time? She's just a dino. Doing what dinos do. Trying to make up for, you know, 65 million years of extinction. 
Um, I don't know if it's been 65 million years. I just pulled that number out. It sounds familiar. Okay. We have cute little tortoises. We have lots of lambiosaurs. We have new baby iguanodons. We have a new uh, Asian black bear. I think my lions are breeding. Let me check that real fast. How's that going? Yeah. Um... Don't be sad. There's just a lot of you in there is all. Guys, overcrowding is a thing. I don't want you to be unhappy. One, two, three, four. Five, six. We can go with that. I feel like six is the most that should be in here. Okay, awesome. Nice quick session. Got a lot done. We got our tortoises. I can feel this LP coming to a close. Um, end of an era, but then we'll be able to start something new. I will see you next time.